Hi guys, welcome to Rapturous House. My name is Tanya. I hope you all are doing absolutely, absolutely wonderful. Today's reading is going to be for my Capricorns. I want to see the person that you're thinking about right now, present moment. Let's see what's going on with, between you and this person. Let's see what this person is feeling and thinking about you right now, present moment. Let's see what it is that you guys don't know, okay? I do want to thank you all. I want to thank you all for all your likes, all your shares, all of your comments. They're all greatly, greatly appreciated. If you haven't yet subscribed to the channel, please do so. That way you'll get notified anytime I upload any new video footages, but also that way I'm able to tug on your energy. Okay, guys, please remember, only take what's yours. Leave everything else behind. If you guys would like a personal reading, my website's information is down in the description below. That is the only way that you're able to obtain a personal reading, okay? All right, my loves, I do call on the Holy Spirit. I call on the white light that guides us. I call on the goddesses that gives us our strength and the angels that protect us. Let's see. The person that you're thinking about right now, present moment, as you watch this video, show me spirit. What's currently going on? Poison, toxic, unhealthy behaviors in people here. So you're surrounded by... Some of you guys, I, I just instantly got like, you're surrounded by certain that people that are unhealthy. You know, they could be unhealthy physically, emotionally, and or mentally. I feel like you guys are somewhat surrounded by that type of person. Someone very toxic. You have somebody very toxic here in your energy. Denial, not facing the truth, irrational and reasoning, but don't tell them that. Whoever this is, there's an energy here of like, oh, God forbid you tell this to this person, though, that they're toxic or that they're they're unhealthy or their behaviors are unhealthy. God forbid you tell this person that, no, you're right and I'm wrong. Like that type of energy is coming through. Somebody that feels like this is like kind of dealing with somebody that's somewhat of a know-it-all. You know, somebody that's not facing the truth. This person's in denial. They're, not, they're in denial about their behaviors. They're in denial about their patterns. They're in denial about the people that they subject themselves to. The people that they hang out with. Yeah, show me more. What's going on with my Capricorns? Self-absorbed. Narcissist. One-sided relationship and love bombing here look at that i don't know on what side of the spectrum you guys are on when it comes to this energy but i'm getting someone like that's very self self-absorbed somebody very narcissistic a one-sided relationship i feel like there's something here about your giving you may be the one that's constantly reaching out or you're the one that there's something about you're constantly giving to this person i feel like there's an energy here of like you feel like it's like you feel like this person's into you one moment and then the next moment this person may flip-flop on you. So you may be dealing with somebody here that's kind of a flip-flopper. Hmm. Show me spirit. Show me what's currently going on with my Capricorns and the person that they're thinking about. Queen of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy. This is somebody that you don't really trust the words that come out of this person's mouth. Also, this person has a lot of attitude. Six of Pentacles. Some of you guys, this person could have money, though. Some of you guys, this person could definitely have money. Could be a Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or somebody that has that type, that embodies that energy. They're very sassy, very witty. They're very intelligent, but they may think very highly of themselves. They're never, they're always right. They're never wrong. Like, that's kind of the energy that's coming through. Like, they're kind of bitchy. Like whoever this person is, this person's kind of bitchy. Yeah, like they're very intelligent. But their attitude is not what's up, you know, by times, by times. It's not always their attitude is not always. Their attitude is not always bad. However, this goes some of you guys definitely there's, there's an energy here of this person having money for some of you guys. Three of swords. Hmm. Three of Swords is, is, is getting out of 
there's a feeling of getting out of a sticky situation like this could be something that's that that's somewhat third party there may be a third party energy that's coming through here but the three of swords is coming out here in the resistance here and this is telling me like you getting yourself out of a sticky situation getting yourself out of a third party situation yeah I feel like you guys are, I feel like there's a part of you guys that's trying to, there's, you're on, you're on your healing, your healing journey right now, present moment. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Ace of Swords. I feel like whoever this is, this person wants to, this is somebody that's hoping and praying for a reconciliation with you. This is someone here that's hoping and praying for a reconciliation with you. But what's up with this person's attitude? There's something unfair about this person's attitude. Show me more. What's going on with my Capricorns and the person that they're currently thinking about? Three of Swords. That three of Swords. First, I saw it in the up, in the in the in the reverse. Now I'm seeing it in the upright here. Some of you guys, this is definitely something third party. Why is there pain and there's hurt here? Strength. Whoever this is, they're stubborn. This person's fearful of you. Whoever this person is, they're stubborn, but they're also scared. The part of this person is scared that you're going to hurt them. And they could be hurting you. Yeah, show me more. Ace of Pentacles. Giving me an energy here of a missed opportunity or, gi or giving something and taking it back. Saying something and taking it back. Like there's, there, there's a, there's a flip-flop energy here that's coming through from the, whoever this person is. Like they, they open up the lines of communication, then they withdraw from that line of communication. They open that door and then they close that door. This person's scared of you. You may have, you may have, there may have, there may have been some, some heartache and pain between you and this person. There may have also been a third party situation between you and this person. But you know, the thing about it is, whoever this person is, it's the story that this person is telling themselves because I see this Queen of Swords in the resistance. I also see this denial, this person not facing the truth, being irrational. And I also see this self-absorbed one-sided relationship. You know, this is somebody here that they're not owning their shit. They're not owning the role that they played in this situation, whatever the situation is between you and them. You know, this person's not, this, this is, this, whoever this is, this person is toxic. Okay, and when I say that, and I say that so gentle, this is the thing. This person has some toxic tendencies and toxic patterns, behaviors. Like, there's an energy here of like when... <sighs> this person doesn't know how to... This is, this is somebody that very, they analyze everything in their, in their head a lot. Whoever this person is, they analyze everything. They're in their head a lot. They're not letting, letting go of something that has been done. And whether it's been done by you or been done by somebody else, they're having a hard time letting that go, how something unfolded. This person could have experienced some type of heartache and pain due to some, some type of third party situation here. And because of that, they can't let it go. Like, you know, this person flip flops, you know. Yeah, two of cups. This is somebody that you're separated with right now, present moment. You definitely have a strong connection with this person. You definitely have a strong connection with this person, but you and this person, you're separated right now, present moment, or you're at odds. You're either separated or you're at odds with this person right now, present moment. Show me more. What do I need to see for my Capricorns and the person that they're thinking about? Gossip. It's a lot of gossiping going on. There's a lot of gossiping going on. Somebody here, there could be gossiping going on with people. There's something here about people in you guys' business. There's people here in you and this person's business. 
this person could talk about you with other people. You could talk about this person with other people. Yeah, mature woman. This could be somebody that's older. There's an older feminine energy that's coming through here. Somebody that's well-known, somebody that's a socialite. I'm also getting like, this person could have actually helped you in some type of way, shape or form and they're, re they're rescinding their offer. There's something about this person rescinding their offer here. I feel like whoever this person is that you're thinking about right now, present moment, this person is something. Like, like that's kind of the energy. Like whoever this person is that you're thinking about right now, present moment, this person is something. I am getting a very mature energy in this, in this person's energy. Why? Because this person, they know how to play the game. Like whoever this is, this person knows how to play the game. Because there's something very, like, this is, you know what I'm getting? Like, this is somebody that, this is somebody that they, they know how to play the game. Like, they, they've experienced some bullshit in life. Yeah, this is your soulmate. So whoever this person is, you have a very strong bond with this person. Your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive here. But there's something here that's been going on with you. You haven't been feeling quite yourself. You have not been feeling quite yourself lately. Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents here. You know, you may have some, this person may remind you of your mother, your father. Or this person may, this is, you know what I'm getting? You trying to separate yourself from an upbringing. Some of you guys, you may have, you, there may, may have been some type of upbringing here and there's something about the class here. Like you may have experienced some family issues here. And the thing about it is whoever this person is, there's some resemblance of that there. There is some resemblance of that there and with whoever this person is that you're dealing with. Because this person has, they may have some family issues here. They may truly have some family issues here. Some of you guys, this is more than one person that I'm picking up on. Some of you guys, this is definitely more than one person here that I'm picking up on. Show me more. How does this person feel about my Capricorn? How does this person feel? Mm, this person loves you unconditionally. You know what the thing about it is? The, this person loves you. You and I were too young. But there's something here about the timing being off between you and this person. This person does love you. The thing about it is this person loves you. But this person's in denial. They're, they're definitely in denial. They're fighting. But the thing about it is I just don't... I feel like... I feel like this person is like fight or flight. Like that's kind of the energy that's coming through. Like whoever this person is, I feel like there's like a fight or flight energy here. You know, this is somebody here that they flip flop a lot. Whoever this is, they flip flop a lot. Yeah. All right, my love. If any of this resonates, please hit that like button. Subscribe if you have not. Until next time. Bye guys.